Dear psychologists and psychology students, welcome to another episode of Lessons from the Field with Nitin. This week I started working with a client grappling with overwhelming anxiety. However, there was a catch. Every time we tried to discuss their anxiety or their trigger, a wave of panic would wash over them. Normally, I begin my work by helping clients define their problems and their desired outcome. I've covered this process in detail in the Quick Tips for Psychologists and Coaches series. If you haven't watched it yet, I highly recommend you check it out now. However, this client called for a different approach right from the start. Recognizing their discomfort, I decided to employ a combination of abstract metaphor and release metaphor processes. Through the abstract metaphor, the client explored and described the problem using symbolic, metaphoric and storytelling elements. This allowed the client to discuss their challenges without directly confronting specific triggers or individuals in their life. If you are curious about the steps involved in the abstract metaphor process, we have a video on the same as well. The release metaphor process helped the client to let go of any anxiety or discomfort they were experiencing during this exploration. Adapting my approach to meet the client's current state yielded the desired results. Eventually, they were not only able to articulate their problems and desired outcomes but also share the specific triggers and incidents that appeared to be the cause of their anxiety if i were to rigidly adhere to a one size fits all process or if i lack these additional tools in my therapeutic toolkit reaching this breakthrough would have been a prolonged and arduous journey as psychologists we must not confine ourselves to a single approach set of tools or ideas in working with our clients by embracing flexibility and continually expanding our repertoire we can provide the best possible support and foster meaningful change in those who entrust us with their well-being today we will explore a powerful self-help tip that combines self-reflection and journaling to enhance your flexibility and ability to adapt as per the requirements set aside self reflection time use this time to explore your thoughts your experiences your emotions which will help you gain clarity and deepen your understanding of yourself ask yourself thought provoking questions such as what new skills or knowledge do i need for my goals how can i expand my perspectives on unfamiliar subjects In what ways can I challenge my beliefs for personal growth? What opportunities for growth exist in my current circumstances? Journal your insights. Express yourself freely without judgments and use the safe space to explore new ideas. Embrace curiosity and experimentation. Step outside your comfort zone by trying new things whether it's pursuing a hobby, attending a workshop, or seeking diverse viewpoints reflect and adapt regularly review your journal entries to observe your growth journey celebrate successes acknowledge areas for improvement and make adjustments as needed by practicing self reflection and journaling you will develop the flexibility to embrace new knowledge and adapt to various situations key challenge last week has been lack of time to complete the hypnotic recordings for our upcoming mobile app this week i would like to get the itars google ads setup finalized along with working on the hypnotic recordings perplexity.ai has become my go to tool this week It harnesses the power of AI to effortlessly search for relevant citations to enhance research papers. Psychologists in the field of research can greatly benefit from this free tool. I highly recommend giving it a try. Thanks for tuning into another episode of Lessons from the Field with Nitin. I hope you found these insights helpful and will join me again for more tips and tricks. Remember to follow and share with your friends and colleagues. See you in the next episode.